Suppose I had a problem and it was um, that you've got a big sheet cake for a big affair, someone's, you know, birthday party, 40th birthday party or something, and invited everybody they know. And you divide the cake into 100 pieces. And suppose um, my family ate three of those pieces. That would be three hundredths. And my friend's family ate five of the pieces. That would be five hundredths. How much of the pizza, or the, sorry, the, um, the cake would my family and my friend's family have eaten together? Well, that would be adding fractions with the same denominator. We add the numerator and we just use that denominator. So that would be eight hundredths of the cake would have been eaten by me and my friend's families. Another way of writing this is 3% plus 5% equals 8%. Percent. percent basically means if you have something percent, it is that something divided by 100. So it's another way, it's, it's really a way of expressing a fraction. Have you ever heard of someone say, Man, I'm going to really try and break my record for running the mile or, you know, get a better uh, grade on a test. I'm going to really, really try hard. I'm going to give it 110%. If you ever heard that expression, what they're trying to say is they're going to try really, really, really hard. Because you can't really try any harder than completely which is 100%, is the whole. So the expression 110% really means more than I can even try. So a um, hundred hundredths is equal to one, or it's one whole. But as you know, when you deal with numbers, sometimes you can get numbers that are greater than one when you're dealing with fractions. So for example, you might say um, that the that the price of something this year is 120% of what it was last year. What would that mean? That, mean? that means that if last year's price was considered 100%, then this year's price is 20% more, and 20% is 20 over, a, sorry, is 20 over 100. And how could I simplify that? Well, this is equal to 20 times 1 over 20 times 5. So I could have written it like this, 20 over 20 times 1 over 5. And anything divided by itself is 1. So this is 1 times a fifth, which is a fifth. So if something is 120% the cost of what it was last year, you've added a fifth of the cost onto last year's cost to get this year's cost. All right, let's do some, some, um, some problems with per percents. Suppose I said I've got 36% and I'm going to subtract 2%. That might be, you might be saying um, I'm going to give a 36% discount, but I decided against giving that much of a discount, say if I was a store owner, and instead I'm going to give it, make the discount 2% less than that. Well, that would mean 36% is 36 hundredths. 2% is 2 over 100, because that's by the definition of what percent means. So this is 34 hundredths, which is 34%. OK? So it's really, since percent means hundredths, you really wind up getting problems with the same denominator, and you just add or subtract the numerators. It's really not that difficult.